Right, hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you from San Diego as usual. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Blair Singer, who is just over the road in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. How are you doing, Blair? Doing great. It's the, This is the kind of weather that you want to be living in this part of the country, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. And and Blair is a best selling author, rich dad advisor and one of a kind teacher. He's worked extens extensively with companies like Singapore Airlines, my favorite airline, um, L'Oreal Blanz. And you're the founder of the Blair Singer Training Academy and Blair Singer Apex System, which trains and certifies the best change agents in the world. And what we wanted to focus on today is you know, we often talk about you know, like change and impact, and we often think about it as an, in a, is an external way or we're, we're going to change this over here or we're going to get together and change that. But personal development and personal change, I mean, I think since the, it was starting before the pandemic, but I think the pandemic has really challenged people to yeah. start looking at themselves, what they're doing and why they're doing it. That's right. That's right. And, you know, I, it used to be like 10 years ago, the whole concept of personal development was kind of a, an add-on, something we could do, help improve your life. But now it's a necessity. I mean, it's a necessity. When you take an entire world population and lock them down for a while and, ice, and try to isolate them, the brain goes a little bit crazy. And you need to have some decent tools to be able to, to deal with that. I mean, you know, I think Wall Street Journal just said a few days ago, the number of overdoses, deaths, suicides, just in 2021 was up 27%, over 100,000 people, because people don't know how to cope. And in sales, I always talk about the little voice between your ears, you know? If you're not talking to the other, your customer's little voice, you're wasting your time. Um, and if you aren't, and if you don't have yours lined up, they're, you're wasting your time again. So I, I think it's critical to the whole selling and business process. Yeah, and, and I think the other thing, Blair, is I, I think a lot of people were, as I said, forced for the first time, maybe to spend a little bit of time with themselves and, and to reflect. Because I think we live in a world today where we're surrounded by so much distraction, you know, whether it's our smartphone, everything else. I mean, we can literally not think if we don't want to because there's so many distractions. And I think that now people need to start spending a little bit of time putting the distractions aside and actually, uh, as I said, spending a little time with yourself and figuring out where you want to go with your with your life and with your work. Yeah, well, what you said is absolutely true. The minute you the minute you eliminate the distractions, the only person left is me, myself and I. And that can be a kind of crazy conversation if you if you've never had it before. Right. So you're right. I mean, we've moved into that realm. And the, the one thing that we've learned out of this whole thing is that we are all creatures of connection. Uh, we do need it uh, in one form or the other, whether it's digital, whether it's physical, whatever it is. Um, and to be able to and to be able to communicate with other people, stay connected at the same time, resolve who you are and be and be yourself. Yeah, and and I think that going back on what you uh, what you said earlier is, I mean, if you're in sales, if you're in any role really, but if you can't relate to the other person, knowing that the other person is going through stuff as well, relate to them as a human being. I mean, you're not right. we're we're not all like therapists, so you don't have to go that far. But just a little bit more empathy, I think, uh, will go a long way. Yeah, empathy is, is critical. And I, and I think because of it, what a lot of people have not recognized that the selling process since pandemic has changed. I mean, the way you talk to a customer, as you were referring to, uh, and not just with empathetic in an empathetic way, but to understand that the conversation is less about what more value can I heap on the offer, as opposed to now what kind of insurance can you give me that I'm, I'm not, that this is a good risk? You know what I'm saying? So they're all almost like, I see, particularly with high ticket items, people are looking for almost like an insurance policy that, that working with, with John Golden is going to be much less risk than working with Blair Singer or whoever, whoever it is. And, 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 and to be able to rest assured because people, honestly, gosh, they're a little freaked out. You know, what's going to happen? Is the economy going to last? Is the market going to crash? Is there, are we going to have another variant? 
all these things that are all education system collapsing. I mean, all these things at once and a person's left alone to try to figure that out. So your point is exact, exactly right. As, 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 a, as a fellow human being, as a salesperson, to be able to empathize and to give somebody some reasonable assurance yeah, and I love that you brought that up. I think that that trust factor. But you know, I often say this is, you know, B two C sales and B two B sales, right? Okay, so in 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 B two C sales, yeah, I can I can go down to Best Buy today and I can buy the latest and greatest four K Ultra HD three D surround set, whatever system, right. and bring it home. Now, the only risk I'm taking there is probably a really, really angry wife who's like, why are you wasting money on this, right? So exactly. limited limited risk, depending on how, how angry she is. But in a B2B context, a, a purchase, especially a big ticket item, that can be career enhancing, can be career limiting. It's It's a frightening thing to do. And to your point, given where we are in the world today, I think maybe sellers, we need to become more and more aware of how much pressure there is on the buyer to make a decision and not just company pressure, but also personal pressure. Exactly, exactly. And I think that to be able to be sensitive to your point of empathetic or sensitive to that and to be able to take your, your selling strategy, your selling approach, your, your, your presentation or whatever, and to gear it legitimately, honestly, in a, in a way that allows a person to feel a sense of security and calmness around that whereas before it was all about features benefits you know what are you going to get what are you going to get what are you going to get it's less about that um it's more about what, what we're talking about here is is what's the assurance yeah is it going to get me fired <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right a career going to use this that's right exactly but it's a great it's a it's a great point and i think that I think that um, salespeople and other people can bring their own experiences of the pandemic really into play and realize like how have to just look at yourself because it's not that difficult because we're all we're all buyers and we're all consumers in our own way. It's like how do you how have we felt? How do we relate best to people? What do we want from other people? And then just flip it around and say, okay, this is what I need to provide. That's right. That's right. You know, and I think it's up to companies to make sure that they can back that up. You know, if if we're if we're trying to provide a higher level of assurance uh, or insurance, whichever the case might be, then can we back it up? Does our customer service support that? Do, do the way we deal with customers support that? You know, um, you know, every salesperson you know, and on the planet woes the fact that they bleed, they, they pour their hearts out to their customers, but then the customer's not necessarily, the, the, the company's not necessarily backing them up with the same level of care and empathy. So I, I was, you know, in, in your, in your materials, you know, the, you talk about coordinating the strategy and coordinating the, the selling and, and the selling strategy and the corporate strategy together more important now than ever. Yeah, no, I, I abs absolutely. And I, and I think that's why, you know, and, and the other part too, I think on top of that is that, it's no longer selling in isolation or being on your own. There's more, there's more people involved, both on the buying side and on the selling side. You need to work more collaboratively, collaboratively with people. There's technology involved. There's so many more demands, I think, today is that you have to kind of look outside of maybe your traditional blinkered approach and start to work more expansively. That's right. You know, it used to be that the salesperson in the old days, the salesperson had the advantage, right? Because they had the information. Now mm -hmm. the customer has the advantage because of what you're saying, because of technology, they really, they really know as much as way more than they did before. And so it's really up to the, to the, to the company and the salesperson to provide a, a higher level of service. I think also the other thing is to be able to articulate a deeper level of value than maybe what they're looking for. Yeah, you know, I'm looking for some sales training, for example. I'm looking for sales training. Okay, yeah, well, that's good. We can provide this, this, and the and benefits, all that. But you know, the, it's not just about the sales training. The the issue is, is that you have a product in the market that you really want to get out to the world, and we really want to help you do that. You know, and there'll be a lot of ups and downs along the way, but we really want to partner with you. Now, when you start talking to people like that. That's a very di that's a very different conversation, and one that I think is required. Yeah, and I like that where where you said you know that uh, you know this is a partnership and we will work together. We we'll get here, and there'll be ups and downs, bumps along the road. Because I, I think that again it goes back to I think that's the 
the honesty and transparency that people are craving. Uh, because to your point, I mean, there's there's provide there's multiple providers for everything pretty much nowadays. So, um, you know, the products are you know perception wise commoditized. Maybe uh, how you sell is really important. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's one of the things that I when I teach and I work with entrepreneurs, I, I say it's you no. Know, or even trainers, I tell them, you know, it's not so much what you're teaching, it's the way you do it. You know, because the way you, your methodology and the way you approach it is way more important than the commodity itself. Because at the end of the day, that gives a person an inc- a, a, a view of what will happen in good times and bad times. Yeah. What advice would you give to somebody listening, whether they're in sales or otherwise? Um, you know, it's a new year. They're facing into it. It's been very uncertain over the last uh, number of years. It's very easy to get uh, overwhelmed or downhearted or think, OK, well, what's going to come next? Uh, well, what advice would you give to people to to kind of seize the moment and turn it to their advantage? Well, I think some of the things we were talking about, take a look at your conversations. What kind of conversations are you having? Be willing to change. Be willing to change your conversation. Be willing to do some different research. Look more on the personal development side of your customer. Look at what their fears, their their concerns are, not just with their boss, but in general and in life, you know? I mean, we go through massive resignations and all kinds of things going on right now and be sensitive to that. I, I find a lot of people stick their head kind of in the sand and say, look, I'm just going to ignore all that stuff and just do what I do. And you do so at your own peril. Um, I think that re- the, the availability of information, the availability to connect, the availability to know these things is greater than it's ever been before. And, and, a, and a person needs to do that. And the last thing I would say is advice if you don't have any kind of, if you're not engaged in any kind of personal development coaching or training for yourself, start now. You need it. We all need it. There's not a, there's not a successful person on the planet out there that doesn't have some form of mentorship or coaching going on because it's a lot for a person to handle. And I think that that's important. Yeah, I love you. I love you brought that up because I do say that nauseam here. I've done it myself in the past. You know, I've had my own um, mentors and, and coaches at different points in my career. But as I always say to people is take take a step back for a moment and ask yourself, how much money do you spend on your hobbies? Right? Maybe you're a golfer, right? You know, you spend a fortune in golf fees. You have that club pro help you with your swing, all of that. Right. Great. Fantastic. You know, I have my own ho- hobbies. But then ask yourself, how much money do you spend on the thing that puts bread on your table? That's right. Your actual job. That's right. And I guarantee it's very few people do. And, and I think that's one of the biggest gaps out there is people investing in themselves as you run. That's right. Out. That's right. And, and now, you know, people have maybe have a little more time, maybe because they're not commuting all the way back and forth to work and doing all that stuff again. So you, there's no excuse not to do it. And most of it's free. Okay. So the... So to say, well, I'm not a good learner. I'm not a good reader. I'm not, I don't, you know, that's, that's no longer valid anymore. It's no, it's not valid. And, and the good news is, is that whatever you learn about yourself to improve yourself, doesn't only improve your income, doesn't only improve your sales, just improves your life and your relationships. I mean, which is how we started about the biggest risk about a, a big TV is what your wife's going to say, right? <laughs> Yeah, no, no, hundred, hundred percent, and and I do. It's it's it is amazing because I just think you have to do so. You have to spend some time with yourself now, and I do think you and you need to. And and on top of that, you need to work with somebody external to you because let's face it. I mean, if you work with a coach or a mentor, I mean that's somebody who they're only they're only they're only they're only care is your success. They have no other. They have no nothing else going on. There's no other, um, you know, sidelines or, or strings attached. That's all they have. And everybody needs that. Everybody, everybody. And, and a good mentor is priceless. Like you say, they, they only have one concern is that and that's for you to get better. And, you know, and I've had some that you've had some and, you know, sometimes you, they're not always fun to be around because they kind of kick you in the butt a little bit. But that's what we all need. And, and that's what makes us grow. Oh, yeah, no, the accountability piece. Absolutely. Yeah. So then you think, my goodness, I'm actually paying this person to hold me accountable. What, what, was, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but it is great. And you have no excuse nowadays because you can do it online or whatever. When I first did mine, the person used to come to the office like after work. And, mm. 
you know, people would say, I wonder who's that strange person who always seems to visit John on a Tuesday at like six o'clock or whatever. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, but yeah. now, now it's, like I said, now it's, and I think it's critical and I think it's a good thing. I think it's overdue. Yeah. I think that um, we live in a world, that, you know, Jeff Booth talks about in his book, you know, that with technology skyrocketing faster than anybody can see it, jobs being eliminated right, left and center. You know, people, you, you best learn how to win the war between your own ears, because if you can't, you'll be in a you'll be in a continual panic mode going forward. Um, and so that's it. when, you know, in our house, that's in our business at, at BlairSinger.com. We, we talk about that all the time because that's that's going to be that's going to be the path to your wealth. Yeah, no, I, I, I couldn't agree more. And I think uh, mental health, everything, I think you owe it to yourself and you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your relationships, you owe it to those around you to be the best version of yourself. And after everything everybody's been through on top of your normal stuff, I mean, you know, nobody's, nobody's going to, nobody's going to question your need to actually reach out and have other people help you or whatever, or work on yourself. It's going to actually look like a smart thing to do. <laughs> right remember when uh, long ago it was a sign of weakness now it's a sign of, of intelligence <laughs> yeah exactly 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 yeah, exactly. well listen Blair, uh, Blair this has been fantastic and all Blair's information is going to be below this video but before we go do tell people a little bit more about you and your company sure you know what for the last I don't know let's say over 20 years I've been working with entrepreneurs all over the world helping them increase sales build championship teams and most late, lately create great facilitators and trainers in about 40 countries. And, 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 if you, and we have a ton of great free information. If you go to BlairSinger.com um, to, to help manage a little voice, sales techniques, team techniques. And most recently, we've launched an Apex program, which is to take the solo entrepreneur that's kind of in the rat race of doing everything themselves and taking them to a scaled business. And that's our Apex program. So if you want to check that out, go to BlairSinger.com forward slash plan. And one of us will sit down and talk to you about it. Yeah, no, and I highly recommend that because if you've ever been a solopreneur or gone out on your own, you'll know that that hamster wheel, <laughs> you're, you're on that hamster wheel most of the time. And uh, yeah, it's like you sell something, then you got to deliver it. Then you got to do this. <laughs> then you got to do that. Then you got to do everything. Yeah, so I would highly recommend people go get help from the, from the experts. Go check out Blair's Apex system. All right, well, listen, Blair, this is great. Thank you for watching and listening, and I will see you all again really soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, John.